An update to a story we brought to you is breaking news right here on Sunrise. Yesterday, an alleged gunman was arrested for a shooting on Tuesday night in Mo'ili'ili. Police took Jeremiah Leedy into custody around noon yesterday in Waimanalo. HPD says the 40-year-old opened fire after he was kicked out of his ex-girlfriend's apartment at the Kapi'olani Banyan around 10 Tuesday night. Leedy allegedly shot a 57-year-old man in the stomach after he swung a bat at Leedy. Police say Leedy then took the bat and struck that man in the head and then shot at a witness but missed. He then shoved a 60-year-old woman to the ground as she tried to intervene. Um, I just saw like four or five guys running after the young man. They started hitting him. Then, then when he got up to fight back, that's when the pop went off. And then one more pop and he fell. The wounded man remains hospitalized this morning in critical condition at last check. Charges against Kauai Police Chief Todd Raybuck have been dropped. It's part of a settlement in a job discrimination lawsuit, which Raybuck was accused of mocking people of Asian descent. Honolulu Civil Beat reports the case was dismissed with prejudice, meaning the charges against Raybuck cannot be brought back to court. The settlement requires the accusing officer, Kauai Police Captain Paul Applegate, to retire on June 1st. He'll receive $350,000 as part of a compensation deal. Attorneys are looking for relatives of hundreds of Hawaiian homelands beneficiaries who died while on the wait list for a lot. They're among the 1,200 deceased beneficiaries who have been awarded a total of $98 million in a class action settlement. The beneficiaries filed claims over issues like lost application, mismanagement, and corrupt use of homelands over several decades. The applications that the claims are based on date back to as far as the 19, late 1940s. So a lot of these uh, folks were kupuna before uh, they even got to the claims office. The state has already paid out $187 million to more than 1,300 living weightlift plaintiffs. Anyone who, waitlist plaintiff, excuse me, anyone who thinks they may be related to a deceased beneficiary should contact the claims administrator. We have that phone number as well as the email to do so up at our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. The north swell is on the way down, but that's probably offering the best surf because the east side surf is pretty washed out and, uh, and messy and rough. So our first alert for today and those windy conditions. Again, there's not going to be a lot of rain, but don't rule out a few passing showers. Similar conditions as we head into the weekend. The winds will be slightly slower. At least that was, that's what we expect. But they're still running at breezy levels all the way through Sunday, and they'll be very light on Tuesday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.